How do you go from having nothing or virtually nothing invested in the stock market to having $100,000 plus dollars invested? That's what I'm going to take you through here today. If you're new here, I'm Jeremy. This is a financial education channel. I'm going to take you guys through a few scenarios on how you can get to have six figures in the stock market. And what you're going to find from these scenarios is this is actually a lot easier than a lot of people would think. And I understand if you're watching this and let's say you have less than $10,000 invested right now. You're, you're like to even think about like having six figures in the stock market, it just seems like it's way out there and it's like, they, like this ridiculously huge number. And I'm here today to break this down very simple and actually look at the facts behind this and look at the numbers behind this and show you that it actually can happen way, way quicker as long as you do some very simple things here, okay? This can happen much, much quicker. A lot of people think, oh my gosh, it's like maybe when I'm old someday, when I'm like in my you know 80s or something, I can have that much money. But I'm here to tell you like you can have this type of money very young and not by doing anything crazy, okay? And this isn't like stuff we're gonna go through where like you had to get some kind of job that paid like a quarter million a year or something or you had to start some business and you were super successful. No, this is all stuff that the average person could do. The average person that's making the average salary can pull off, okay? So all these are pretty realistic scenarios. And by the way, I'm gonna tell you a story toward the end of today's video on how I went from basically having like nothing in the stock market to having over 100,000 in about two and a half years which was absolutely insane and that's pretty unrealistic for most people so which is why I'm gonna save it toward the end of the video but for right now let's go through these scenarios and you'll see alrighty guys the first scenario up here is a very very easy one and a very very simple one this is what I call the five dollar plan okay which essentially means you're gonna take five dollars per day every day and you're basically gonna put that money into your brokerage account. You could have it set up through Robinhood or Fidelity or TD Ameritrade or whoever you have it with. And $5 per day, you don't have to do it all in one day. You could like save up for a week and then put it in or whatever. But the idea is $5 per day is basically gonna go into that brokerage account. That equates to about $150 per month roughly, okay? About $150 per month, which is definitely, definitely doable for the average person out there. And if you if you're not at a place where you can do at least $150 per month, then you gotta figure out, do you have an income problem or do you have an expense problem? Because you have one of those two. If you can't do at least $150 towards stock market investing each month, you have either you either have an income problem or an expense problem. You just need to figure out what it is. There are some people that, you know, they actually have good incomes, but they spend everything that comes in. And then on the flip side, there's some people that honestly don't have any income or they need to just get a better job or start a business or a side income stream or something like that. $150 to get your hands on it is, is not a lot of money, okay? So $150 per month essentially, which means you have about $1,800 roughly per year going into your stock market account, okay? $1,800 per year. Now, so you got this $1,800 per year, then you're gonna do this every single year, you know, for the future years, okay? And you're not gonna up the amount, down the amount, anything across the board, you're gonna do the same amount. And if you could get just a roughly an 8% return, okay? You'd get just an 8% return, which is you know, like average, okay? That's just like if you just invest in like an S&P index fund, that's generally what you should get over the long term, like the stock market usually goes up seven to eight percent on average okay if you kind of look at the stock market historically all right so if you just do this five dollars per day you get an eight percent return then in 20 years you already hit a hundred thousand dollars okay 20 years you hit a hundred thousand dollars and so if you're watching this and you're you know 20 years old and you're watching this right now okay when you're 40 years old you'd have six figures plus in the stock market just going off of this little five dollar per day plan okay which is a ridiculously small amount of money that's a ridiculously small amount of money five dollars per day at an average return you're when you're 40 years old you got over 100k in the market okay now that's what I call like like super super taking it calmly because we're talking about literally just five dollars per day okay most of you guys can probably do this now never mind what you should be able to do in, in a few years from now five years from now ten years from now okay now let me take you through another scenario here okay let's let's amp this up a bit because five dollars per day is super lame but you can see even with a little little amount like five dollars per day you still hit it and you can still do it very, very young, okay? So now let's go through another scenario. 
Let's say we're gonna uh, amp it up a bit to $20 per day. This is still a very, very small amount of money, okay? $20 per day is not a lot. And if you can't do $20 per day, then once again, do you have an income problem? Do you have an expensive problem? We need to address that, okay? $20 per day, what does this end up equating out to? That's a roughly, you know, $600 per month, okay, per month here, in which, you know, 600 times 12, that basically mean you're putting about $7,200 per year into your stock market account, okay? Definitely, definitely very doable for the, you know, the average Joe out there. And once again, if you can't get to this place, income problem, expense problem. You need to just like, in your mind, you always gotta like automatically think, whatever number you're trying to get to, whether you're trying to invest $10 a day, $20, $30, $50, whatever that amount, you need to just, in your mind, just like, like figure out, do I have an income problem or do I have an expense problem? It's one of those two, okay? So $7,200 per year at, once again, just an average return, we're not talking about anything special, just an 8% return, it would be less than nine years, okay? Less than nine years and you would have over a hundred thousand dollars, okay? Less than a decade at just $20 per day at an average return of 8%, okay? So you're seeing that this right here is very, very possible, okay? Now, let's say, you know, we do the same amount, $20 per day, very doable, but instead, let's, let's amp up our returns a little bit. Let's say we really work hard, we understand how to pick stocks, we understand everything to look for, we do all the research work, and we're able to get a really, really good return, okay? Now, a great return is if you can consistently get 20% plus per year, you are a truly great investor, okay? Warren Buffett back in the day got 20% plus per year, and he's one of the greatest of all time, okay? But let's say you don't get 20%, but you still get a really, really good return. Let's say you get about a 16% return Return, which is definitely very, very respectable, okay? A 16% return. Now we're at a scenario that in about six and a half years, about six and a half years, you already hit $100,000 plus in your stock market portfolio, okay? That is amazing, a 16% return, six and a half years, and that's only at $20 a day, okay? So what you're gonna see here is it's very realistic to go from pretty much nothing in the stock market or little to nothing to having six figures plus in the stock market in less than a decade is very, very possible. Now, in my opinion, the ultimate is this one, okay? This is still a very, very realistic one, and then I'm gonna share with you guys exactly how I went from almost nothing in the stock market to over $100,000 in about two and a half years, okay? But my ultimate that I can see for most people out there is you put $1,000 per month into your stock market account, okay? That's $12,000 per year. I think this is very, very doable for the math is out there, all right? Once again, if you can't get to this place, do you have an, you say it with me, say it with me. Do you have an income problem or do you have an expense problem, okay? Say it with me when I say it, okay? Because you, you literally have one if you can't do this, okay? So, $1,000 per month, $12,000 per year, and let's say you get something in between that 8% and that 16%. So let's say you get a 12 percent return, okay? Then in this scenario, you know how long it takes you to go to six figures? About five years, okay? Now we're really talking. Once again, you didn't kill it in the stock market, you got 12%. Respect, okay, that's good, you're good for you, okay? But you didn't get 20%, you didn't get 30%, you didn't get some you know, outlandish number or something like that. You didn't put in some ridiculous amount of money, $1,000 per month, that's you know $250 per week roughly, okay? Or technically it's a little less than $250 per week. The masses, you guys can absolutely do this, and you can go from pretty much nothing in the stock market to $100,000 plus in about a five year time, okay? So that, that I put you in a scenario where even if you're watching this video and you're not super young, maybe you're in your you know 40s while you're watching this, maybe you're in your 50s or 60s, that's pretty sweet still to get to uh, you know nothing to 100,000 plus dollars in about five years. And never mind you guys that are the younger generation, that you know the, those of you that watch my channel that are in your 30s and 20s, and some of you guys are even like teens that watch this channel, okay? 
for you guys, this starts to get really, really fun, okay? If you have $100,000 plus in the stock market at a very young age, then that sets you up to literally have millions or tens of millions down the road when you're in your 40s and 50s, as long as you stay on the right track, okay? It's just like, it's, it's game over as long as you're, you stay focused and you stay on where you're supposed to be, okay? Now, let me take you through exactly how I went from having you know very little money. I had less than $10,000 invested in the stock market when I was about 20 years old, okay? I had less than 10K, let's just put it up here, okay? Uh, I had less than 10K when I was basically up until I about turned 21, okay? And from the time I was 21 to the time I was 23 and maybe a half or something like that, and in about a two and a half year time frame, I went to having over $100,000 in the stock market, okay? Now, how I pulled this off, it's a little unrealistic in my opinion for the average person out there, which is why I left it to the end of the video. So how I went ahead and do this is I got a job at Quick Trip, okay? And it was a good job. I was making like 50K a year, roughly. Uh, some years I made a little more than that. I think the first year I might have made a little less than that. Now, and so I was making this 50k, but I also had a girlfriend who later on became my wife and, you know, the mother of my children and whatnot, but she worked as well at this company named Quick Trip, and she was making 40 to 50k as well per year, okay? So essentially, we were able, uh, during this time, we usually lived in a one bedroom or like a two bedroom apartment, okay? So really like small places that were really super cheap. I think the rent on my first place that was a one bedroom was like 700 bucks a month. And then this one we had in Charlotte, North Carolina, I think was like a thousand dollars a month or something like that, which I thought was like a lot of money. And so we always kept expenses very, very low. And we were making, you know, combined, you know, 90K a year, maybe over 100K per year. And we had extremely, extremely low expenses. Expenses, okay on top of that so I was able to funnel tons of money because we kind of like you know split up bills she paid some bills I paid some bills so a lot of my money was able to go toward investing so I was able to have like usually like 2k plus per month okay per month going to my stock market accounts my brokerage accounts okay two thousand dollars plus per month all right at a very young age so this was amazing so I was putting in you know twenty four thousand dollars plus per year into my stock market accounts during those years. And on top of that, I was getting like 30% to 40% returns, okay? Which, you know, I I don't know if it was luck. I don't know what it was, okay? Uh, but, you know, it was a lot of hard work that went behind it. I remember, you know, studying companies just as much, if not more, back then than I even do today. And I had, you know, I just had a lot of like uh, what I call jackpot winners. Cabela's went absolutely berserk. Uh, Trinity Industries, Monster Beverage. Like I had a lot of companies back then that were just like, you know, just knocking out of the ballpark. So I was getting this ridiculous return. I was putting in at least $2,000 plus per month into my brokerage accounts because our expenses were so unbelievably low. And in a matter of about two and a half years, I was able to get a place to a place where I had less, you know, basically went from having less than $10,000 to having over $100,000 in the stock market, okay? Now, unrealistic, I know that's not realistic for the average person to pull off out there because, um, you know, it's not always realistic. We didn't have any kids at that time. So we could keep expenses really, really low. Um, also, I didn't have any like, um, uh, I, I, you know, I was really young, so I didn't have any expectations like, oh, I need to live in this type of area, or I need to drive this type of car, or anything like that. I didn't have any of those type of expectations, so it was very easy for us to keep, keep our expenses very, very low and just invest and invest and invest. But that just kind of shows you it can happen. It can happen in less than three years. You can pull this off in less than three years. But um, and once again, that, you know, two thousand dollars plus per month. That's still not a ridiculous number. Okay, that's not a ridiculous number. I know people. Uh, I have some folks that are in my my private stock group that put five to ten thousand a month into their stock market accounts probably some that put over ten thousand a month in their stock market accounts that's getting you know pretty unrealistic but even this you know, pretty unrealistic because I don't, you know, especially at 30, 40% returns, I only go for about 20% nowadays, okay? That's my goal each and every year. We should easily clear 20% this year, but I, you know, even this year is gonna be a good year and I don't even think we'll hit 30%, which, you know, 30% is ridiculous, okay? It's kind of unrealistic if you wanna hit those numbers consistently, but it absolutely is possible to still get very, very good returns and outperform the stock market as long as you're doing the research work and everything necessary there. Um, just the question is how much money can you put in those accounts 
each month and what type of return can you get. So I hope this video today enlightened you guys on it absolutely as possible, whether you're doing $5 a day, $10 a day, $20 a day, getting an average return, getting a great return, anything across the board, this can absolutely be achieved in 10 to 20 years. And if you're really focused on this, you can achieve this in five to 10 years, okay? You can go from literally nothing to 100,000 plus dollars in the stock market without doing anything crazy in, in literally about five to 10 years, okay? It is absolutely possible. I just broke down the numbers and proved it, okay? So share this video with somebody that might think it's helpful. Don't forget to smash that thumbs up button. Leave me a comment down there if you have a goal like this and what your goals are for the stock market. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.